main thing is because I want to make a difference. You know, I've worked in technology for over 25 years. I actually built out corporate networks throughout the entire nation and actually built out service platforms as well as financial systems. That sounds all fine and nice, but what I can do is make a big difference. I work with teams and I build consensus and that's what I can do very well. One of the things that I've seen in this community is the fact that there are difficulties in, in City Hall. You have to be able to work together with a lot of folks. You have to be able to reach across even when you don't agree and build that consensus. That's where I have a lot of skills in building that consensus with a lot of folks. I can make a difference. With respect to Liz San Leandro coming in, I actually worked down in Silicon Valley last year as a consultant for many of the small startups, the mobile platforms. Those are the technology firms that we want to bring in because that's another channel of businesses that we want to bring into the city. When we're talking about expanding our shopping and retail, we also want to bring other channels of markets and industries in to expand all those areas. That's how we can raise our revenue in the city. When we raise the revenue, we also raise our general fund. We also raise our property values when we focus on community compliance. One of the things that we've done with our homeowners association is we raise the values of our, our home through having all our lawns trimmed nicely, all our uh, front properties looking very well. The uh, public safety, again, is very important. Everybody's been talking about it, but I've been endorsed by the San, Le San Leandro Police Officers Association, and I have the solutions on how to solve those problems by partnering more so with communities. I think that that's very important because that's how we do it. Thanks. I'm interested in serving on the city, city council to work with current businesses to expand, stay in San Leandro, or address problems early before leaving San Leandro, and to be the voice of the community. I also want to be on the council because a vacancy exists, and I want to make sure that there's competent leadership to fill that voice. As a team member, I know I have the patience, dedication, clear vision, and concentrated efforts to work with others to reach our goals. Thank you. My foray into politics began with a quest to understand the deaths of two of my closest friends and questioning why certain decisions were made in their health care. I quickly learned that certain decisions made even at the local level affected the quality of health care that my, my friend could have received here at San Leandro Hospital. Now, as I embarked on that quest and got more involved, got appointed in the planning commission, worked in the schools, you begin to see as a young person, you, you question a lot, why are things the way they are? Why aren't our roads fixed? Why don't we have enough police officers? And when I got involved, you began to see decisions um, that started leading to a drain on our, on our budget. You know, I do believe uh, the situation with, with Faith Fellowship Church is a drain on our budget. It was a decision that should have been solved inside of City Hall. I believe that in San Leandro, we do need a council that is unanimous, not unanimous, but that can work together. And as of right now, I am the only candidate who's endorsed by the current city council members and the mayor. And so we all up here have a passion to see San Leandro thrive. But it's really gonna be the people that do the work, that study the issues, and that understand how our city works, that are gonna be able to move us forward. And I've done that work. I've put my hours in at the library reading our zoning codes. I've studied our, unit, our charter, and, I, and I'm reviewing our municipal code. These are the qualities I want in a city council member. The day I ran for, that decided to run for city council was the day I saw one of our city council members go on record and say it took them four years to learn their job. I believe the voters of San Leandro deserve better, and they deserve a candidate who learned the job before they got there so that they can have an immediate impact. And I hope I can be that person for you. Thank you. All right, so here, here's what it comes down to. It comes down to what you stand for, right? So if I'm raising a family in the city, and my kids are going to the schools, and my, my kids are playing at the baseball fields, and I'm coaching on these fields, is what do I stand for? I shouldn't be able to have such a, a overwhelming opinion and be able to criticize the current city council or the mayor or whatever, unless I'm willing to put my hat in as well and kind of let, let, let it 
that the chips fall where they may. So that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm interested in running for city council. I understand that, I, that I'm probably not going to have a sil silver bullet to all the city's woes. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to solve your pension reform. I'm not an economist. I'm not an expert in all subject matter. Um, but what I, what I will do is I will research all of the issues to the best of my ability from my heart, and I will give you the decision that best suits or what I feel would best suit your families and what our goals are as a community. Like I said, I grew up here. I go back three or four generations. My uncle Richie owned Richie's Barbershop right here in downtown San Leandro. And I want to continue to represent the city and make it as good as it once was years ago.